Good morning. It's good to connect with you on this Wednesday morning for our weekly devotionals from Wiley and McClave United Methodist Churches. I'm starting back up our weekly devotionals for a while uh, to tie in with our Sunday sermon series, which is on baggage, all the things that we carry that weigh us down and keep us separated from the love that God shares with us and the relationship that we are called uh, to be in with God and with Christ. We worship on Sunday mornings at 9.30 in McClave and then 11 a.m. at Wiley. And all are welcome to come join us for our Sunday worship services. Part of the sermon series is taking a look at the things, the baggage, you could say, uh, in our lives that does keep us separated from, from God, from each other, uh, things that impact our relationships and our spiritual life. But I know that our God cares for us and loves us and does not desire for us to be weighed down by the baggage that we encounter. So for devotionals for the next couple of weeks, we'll be taking a look and building uh, on the ideas that we're discussing on Sunday. Before we go into our devotional, I'd like to open us in prayer. And the prayer that I have today is from a friend of mine, a friend and colleague. Uh, his name is the Reverend Dr. Richard Vickery. Uh, he's a retired pastor and a friend of mine. And this is the prayer that he opens uh, his sermons with. So I invite you to pray with me. Grant, O Lord, that we might be masters of ourselves, that we may become the servants of others. Take our lips and speak through them. Take our minds and think through them. Take our hearts and set them on fire. Amen. Our scripture for this morning is from the book of Micah in chapter 7, verses 18 through 20. So I invite you to hear these words from Micah. Who is a God like you, pardoning iniquity? and passing over the transgression of the remnant of your possession. He does not retain his anger forever, because he delights in showing clemency. He will again have compassion upon us. He will tread our iniquities underfoot. You will cast all our sins into the depths of the sea. You will show faithfulness to Jacob and unswerving loyalty to Abraham, as you have sworn to our ancestors from the days of old. The word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. One of the burdens, or part of our baggage that we might carry in our lives is guilt. Now, guilt is never uh, something any of us wants to talk about. It's nothing that we wake up in the morning uh, hoping to talk about or to work through. But guilt is a part of our lives. We may have guilt over past actions, things that we have done. We may have guilt over interactions that we've had with our friends or our family members or neighbors. And we can carry guilt from so many other things. And guilt can weigh on us. Guilt can make us feel like, no, we don't matter. Or there's nothing that we can do to redeem ourselves. But there's good news for us as a people of faith. The guilt that we carry, that weight, that baggage, that does not define us. The guilt from our past actions, past decisions, past events, that does not define us going forward. For we are forgiven, we are given new life, and Christ. I love the scripture from the Old Testament that we read uh, this morning. It's at verse 19 that really stands out to me when I'm thinking about guilt and, and the guilt that I carry, the guilt that uh, so many of us might carry when we start looking back a little too much in our lives. That verse 19, he will have compassion upon us he will tread our iniquities underfoot. You will cast all our sins into the depths of the sea. And this is Micah speaking, sharing a prophecy from God. 
and speaking these words to a people who needed to hear that God will take all that brokenness, all that guilt, all that sin, and toss it away and be thrown into the sea. We are given a fresh start when we come to our God with that guilt, with the burdens and all the baggage that we carry. I believe we are forgiven. We are given a fresh start. So today, as you go through your day or go through your week, I invite you to consider the guilt that you might be carrying. This guilt might be just a few days old, weeks, maybe months or from years ago. I invite you to take that guilt and hand it over to our God who loves us. This guilt does not have to define you. It's not something that you have to carry. You are forgiven. You are loved. And I believe God loves us so much that he does not want us to carry those burdens. God does not want us to carry that baggage of guilt in our lives. We are called to let it go and embrace the new beginning that comes so freely and without price from our Christ, from our Savior. So embrace this new life. It may take time, and it won't be easy. But I believe we are given a fresh start for each and every one of us. Amen. Well, to close our time together, I invite us to pray. I will offer a prayer, and then we will connect next time. So let us pray. Gracious and loving God, remind us that you are with us, that when we struggle under the weight of guilt, when it feels like this baggage is just all too much, remind us, God, how we are called to hand that over to you. Remind us of how you forgive us and how that baggage is something that you do not see us with. Instead, through your Son, Jesus Christ, you see us as whole. You see us as renewed. Remind us of this, God, as we go through our days, that you do not hold our past against us. Instead, you call us forward in new life, now and for all of our days. Amen. Well, go forth and be blessed with all that is coming in your day and in the week to come. Amen.